G'day mates, how's it going? I'm Cattlebear and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Survival Tips. Um, so, uh, we're, we're in a town, obviously, you know, this is where we are. Uh, there are zombies chasing us, because, you know, whatever. Um, so, I, I don't care about any of that. We're going to make a shovel, we're going to make a shovel. Okay, this is, this is going to be a housing episode, but we're going to make a shovel. Quickly, quickly, make a shovel quicker. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so we equip the shovel. Um... I'm just going to show you this stuff before I show you the housing. Okay, so we've got sand here. Sand is useful uh, in crafting, like for making uh, concrete and some other things, but mainly concrete. This is what you need for your concrete. So you get some sand whenever you can. If you see, if you see some sand, you grab it. Just so you have some sand. Um, hello, train. Um, so <laughs> we are going to um, scout out the buildings and decide which one would be best for a little base, a, a permanent base, or at least a long-term base. So this is clay, this is clay, clay is awesome. You definitely need clay. Clay is what will make you your steel and your forged iron, well, along with iron, but you know. So if you see clay, like this brownie stuff apparently on the ground, this is what you need. So you get some of that. And um, so we have multiple buildings in this area that would be, make for great bases. I like the uh, I like the police station. A lot of people don't because it's really hard to reinforce, but it can work. Have to keep an eye out for zombies because they're really close. Um, we're probably going to do another lap before we actually go in there. There's also a weapon crate there, but it is locked-ish. I need to like chop it down so I can get into the crate. Um, when I am looking for a base. I generally either go for um, something that already has rooms in it that could be really useful for defending. Like, I will show you the bank. The bank is a good one. Um, these buildings are in no way guaranteed. But ooh, Oh, God. Um, so there's a vault here. If you can get into the vault, which takes a lot of work, uh, a lot of work, especially with stone axe, you can use that to, uh, you know... Like, barricade yourself in with doors that you can make yourself. Um, or a multi-story building, like that's two stories. So you can just get rid of the stairs on the first floor. And, uh, you know, use hay bales, which you can make from plant fibers, to get yourself up. And they're easy to destroy, and you can just pick them back up. And the zombies will generally accidentally destroy them. This police station here is really good, because there's loads of room. And you've got rooms you can use for storage and everything. It's a good area. It's a good area. Also, shops, the top of shops. Like, I, I will show you uh, the roof of a shop in a minute. There's so many zombies in this town. Oh, we've got Cracker Book right here. Now, the problem with using uh, shops is that if you haven't actually cleared the inside, the zombies may go through and destroy some of the stuff you want. But, since this is a tutorial, I don't really care. I, I'm not going to be playing this very much, or properly. So, we're going to show you. Okay, so you go up here. I actually already uh, did this. Yes. I did this earlier, when I was trying to survive. Um, there's generally ladders that go all the way up. Once you get up there, you can destroy the ladder, and just use it as like a nighttime resting area, and then leave. You just need to destroy the top one or two parts of the ladder, and the zombies are not able to get up. They might try, but they won't be able to get up. Generally, two is better than one, but at least getting one makes it a lot harder for them to get up. You may need to crouch to do that, but it, it works. So, ideally for me, I would like a three-story building or something really defensy. Like, there's buildings over there, but they're open. Um, I would probably consider this to be a decent building as a base. A lot of people wouldn't, but... Actually, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Um, it's a little too easy for zombies to get into. Uh, too many stairs. You have to do too much work to get rid of it. But anything with three to five stories is wonderful as a base, because it has so much room and you can just ignore the lower levels. So, this is the place I would use as an... 
I wouldn't use this. No, no, I changed my mind. I wouldn't use this. Too many zombies. Too many zombies. <laughs> you always have to keep an eye on stamina as well, because if you run out of stamina, then you actually have to wait till you get 15 stamina back so you can sprint. If you just make sure you never actually run out, then you can always sprint when you need to. Um, anything? 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 See, this is an okay building, but it's very open. You don't want buildings to be too open. <laughs> it's really hard to decide which building you want as a base, unless you have an obvious building, like the uh, bunker I had in my uh, first videos. That bunker is perfect for a base, but you can't always find a bunker. So you need to just choose buildings on their own merits. And quite often based on what you can actually get into easily without zombies murdering you. Zombies during the day are really slow. They're not going to hit you unless you let them. So, yeah. I would take that police headquarters there. Clear out zombies. I'm not going to do that now because it will take too long. But you clear out some zombies, get rid of them and then board up the place, and take the second floor. Always take the higher floor. You may seem like you're trapping yourself, but you could build something down. Like, you can just put a ladder down the side when you want to leave if you want. Then destroy the ladder. Just destroy the lower parts of the ladder, rebuild them when you want to come back. It works. Um, so yeah. Um, just make sure you... Always have a building that's more than one floor. Because if the building is a single story building, it will not work for you. The zombies will just smash down your doors and your walls and it will be awful. It will just be awful. I just walked into a cactus. I'm sorry. I'm barely taking my own advice. See, that building right there. That is a good building. It, um... If I can get in here quickly, I will show you just before I end this video. But I'm not sure I can. Also, um, some buildings that are really destroyed will actually um, have unlocked doors, which you can just open. Most better, well, all better buildings won't. Okay, I'm out of stamina. Damn it. Oh, I have water, though. Since I'm not playing this properly, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going to use this so I can show you. It's going to be off when I try and leave, but that's okay. Okay, so you go in, you find the stairs. Where are the stairs? <laughs> wow, this isn't going well. Um, stairs up. So you go up the stairs. You can destroy these stairs by hacking away at them. Um, you just want to make sure the zombies don't get to you before you finish this. You only need one lot of stairs done. See, the zombies will keep falling off. Now, it is possible they'll land on something down there in some buildings, and they will actually be able to get to you. <laughs> but, it's a good start. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. There you go. There. See, now the zombies can't get up here. And, um, damn it. Is there an easy way up there? Easy way, easy way. Possible? There it is. Okay. So, now, you don't build you don't build on this floor. Even though you've secured this floor, you don't build on this floor. You make another stone axe so you can finish. <laughs> and then, then, um, like so, like so, after much scouting around, you find a house. You know, you, you had possibilities, but you find a house and you're like, yes, I'm going to use this. So, you go up into the attic of this house. And you can seal this off, like, with, um, hang on. Hey. It just gives you a tiny early warning. It takes 10 seconds to make. Great. Great. Thank you, game. Thank you. <laughs> um, as you get your skills up, things get quicker to make as well. Um, but you can just seal that off there. And now, if the zombie's trying to get up, they'll hit that, and you'll see. So you can build yourself a little base up here. And this is two floors up, so it's harder for the zombies to get to you. You've destroyed some stairs. It's all good. Anyway, anyway, thank you very much for watching. 
Um, if you liked it, leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe, and I will catch you in another video. Happy surviving. Bye for now. Bye.